Hi, we're Simon and Lisa Thomas uh, from To Ride the World. Um, we're here in Angkor Wat in Cambodia, and boy, it's really, really stinking hot and humid, and it's only half past seven this morning. Yeah. We were lucky enough about a week ago to be provided with some of the new Tourtech Compañero riding suits. So whilst we're taking a break, we thought we'd review them, have a look through them, see what makes them different from other suits we've used previously and share our thoughts with you. One of the things that sets this suit apart from suits we've worn previously is that as opposed to our other suits where when the weather turns you'd put a Gore-Tex liner in, with this one, it's a two suits in one deal. You put an over suit on. Um, it's very well designed, it's well put together. We've not had to use it yet just because it's been so hot and humid um, here in Cambodia, but that will change as we head south. Um, we'll go into more detail in a second with the over suit, but basically you have some zips here, you have a couple of connectors at the bottom, and this allows you to connect the inner jacket and the outside riding suit together. Um, we've worn them both um, and it fits as well as this one does. Um, one of the key things here we've also really been impressed with is the body armour seems to be in the right places. Now that sounds, that sounds silly, but again, previous suits have meant the body armour on the elbows was down to the wrists and starting here. The pockets, the holders seem to be in the right places. Um, I was forever on previous suits having to adjust the knee pads. Um, they're in the right places and they're fine. One of the big deals here is that sometimes we'll wear the trousers over the boots, other times like now you'll want to put it inside. This riding suit has been designed to fit in both. So right now the material at the bottom um, is slightly finer. Uh, the zips are located so that when you do put them into the boot, they're not pressing against your ankle. If I undo these... And I can quickly show you... It's no problem at all to do the boot up. Good to go. Well, after almost eight years on the road, we've been through a variety of suits. Um, this is our fifth, and even though we've only had it for a couple of weeks, I must say we're already impressed. Um, we're pretty rough on the suits, as you can well imagine. Um, they, they tend to take quite a, a battering. Um, one of the things that we like about this suit is I mean, it's incredibly hot and humid here. We can't get that across on, on just speaking to you. Um, but, and it's only like seven o'clock in the morning. We've not felt um, the desire to just like strip off and get out of the suits as fast as possible. Um, they're nicely aerated. That was one of the things that we were really concerned about in having a suit and having to ride at this time of year, uh, coming up to one of the hottest March and April in Southeast Asia. I get loads of emails from women that ride, and, and not just weekend riders, riders who like to go off-road. They don't always want to use a boy's suit because they don't fit a woman very well. So with the arms being too long, the shoulders being too broad, the back pad, even though you may have a small one, it's, too, it's still too big when you sit down, it ends up you know, underneath your helmet. Um, and, and the hips are always a bit too tight. I have to say this is the best fitting suit um, that I've had that's been cut with a female shape. There's lots of little alterations that the suit offers so that it fits you just perfectly. Um, little poppers on the sleeves so if you've got something more bulky underneath you can make it looser or tighter as I've got today. Um, there's also the the waistband, I love this on a jacket. You don't feel like you're just a sack of cloth. Um, it gives you the opportunity to just pull it in just a little bit more. Um, but sometimes when you do that with a waist, the back um, protector doesn't fit very well. Well here, when you pull in this waist alteration here, it actually also pulls in the back protector to make it still fit 
nice and close up against your back. Um, inside, there's a really nice, discreet inside pocket, which is actually big enough to hold something. I mean, you can put documents in there. It's easy to get your passport in and out, etc. There's the extra little pocket on the arm where you can uh, have all of your ID or just some extra money or a little note for a map or GPS reference if you've not got your tank bag with you. And again, a nice secure zip in there and you can get quite a lot in there. I always do carry a bit too much never ever had this on a suit before you know you're always fiddling about with your glasses helmet on glasses on etc it gets a real pain nice little glasses pocket it's even got nice soft material inside so that when you do shove your glasses in the pocket they don't get scratched to move out the sun a little bit it's very very humid today um, let's go to the bikes and show you a little bit more about the jacket one of the things we picked up on is that the, the suit is so much more flexible and the, the material so much lighter than a lot of the suits we've worn before Torotech have included a, a rear detachable pocket and again with the material being so nice and supple it really doesn't get in the way when you ride um, it's designed to take the full oversuit, the jacket and the trousers, so it's nice and easy to just carry that in your bag as you're riding and nothing else. Um, just to talk a bit about the trousers, um, like the jacket there are plenty of adjusters. So in terms of the side you have an adjuster around the knee, this is attached directly to the knee pad area and again more adjusters on the bottom in case you want to pull the material close in around your calf. I love this piece of elasticated material here. It makes it so much more comfortable when I'm seated on the bike. Plus also the adjustment here of pulling in the waist is actually in the front and it's a fairly flat piece of Velcro rather than being a buckle on the side which often digs in. One of the things that can't be overstated is how well the suit seems to fit. The reality is that all of the other features, all the nice zippers, the poppers, the gadgets, all really don't mean anything if you don't actually buy the suit. And at the end of the day, no matter how safe or secure any suit is, if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't make you feel good, then chances are you're probably not going to buy it. left with the impression that rider comfort has, has been thought of very thoroughly in the design of this suit. Um, we'll let you know in a couple of weeks, a bit more detail. <laughs>